<laughs> um, without giving almost too much leeway. And uh, tonight's product, I really like promoting hemp stuff. Um, in part because I'm coming up 13 full years since I've really eaten any meat at all. Uh, I'm working on the gym right now, putting on weight, and I think proving that vegetarians can be healthy and athletic into their 40s, because I'm turning 40 this year, believe it or not, and, and eventually 50s too. Uh, I want to really prove that you can be really athletic <laughs> And, and you don't have to eat meat uh, to do that. And so uh, uh, I really love promoting hemp protein. I eat hemp all the time in lots of different ways. Oh, stop. And uh, you don't for 20 big points for the game, within one dollar. He's the one that said that it's Can anyone 50s. tell me He's how not much even close to it. this bucket of hemp protein costs at uh, the vitamin shop? This nice big bucket, two oh, pounds. Ryan, within one dollar for the game. Whoa. How much is it? Drum roll. No, you yeah. clapped. The pressure's on you. How much? Forty-one ninety-five. No, I'm, I'm afraid not. <laughs> so, so, uh, no, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, I'm afraid not. It's uh, it's it's up to you guys. I better make sure I got the prices covered. I'm showing this damn thing around, though. Okay, look at me. I'm a pro. How much for this big bucket of hemp protein within a dollar? How much? Take a guess and come on. I, the pressure's hot. The Chris is guessing. How much is it? Fifty-five dollars. No. Uh, well, the uh, you may expect the cost to be that high. The cost is much less than anybody has guessed here. I don't want to say how much less, because there's a lot at stake here, folks. And I did hear a clap, so this is it. You guys got to get this or the, 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 uh, the, 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 what the hell are they called again? The Wildwood Weed is going to take it. So that was you that clapped, Ryan. Twenty-four fifty. The game is friggin' tied, folks. Oh, no. It's 24.98. The game oh. is tied. Ten points there, and we are in to overtime. And they're making me work for my money because I don't have any questions for this. Ready? So I gotta come. Win it! So, smoke off. Yeah. Smoke off. <laughs> idea, you know? He should almost deserve some points for coming up with that one. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty yeah. smart idea, but... That was that's joints. Um, that's not gonna happen! <laughs> so, um, like I say, this is the first quarterfinal in our uh, fifth annual tournament, and if this is any indication, I think we're in for one of the best years yet. So, before I go any further, I'd just like to thank all of our team uh, mates, I, I guess I could say, for, for playing tonight. It's been a, a real ride. I hope you've had as much fun as me. And uh, there are prizes for everybody that plays. I didn't say it yet. So when the game is over, please don't take off. I got a couple things for you. Some, uh, I got lots of propaganda to, to hand out and paraphernalia. So uh, you're, you're bound to get some of that. Uh, and, and I'd also like to think that everybody's winning, whether they're watching or, or playing these games. So again, Thanks everybody for, for jumping in and uh, and having fun with us here. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! So. Yeah. What am I gonna do? What shall I do? That is such a good thing. Oh. I always do. Okay. Um. I asked a question off this newspaper article before, the title of which was 65% of people in BC want cannabis legalized. And the question I asked was about the Green Party. The answer was 77% of people in the Green Party support legalizing cannabis. But I don't think I said how many people in the NDP support legalizing cannabis. Oh. Within 2%. How many people in the NDP support legalizing cannabis for Damn the Damn mosquitoes. To get to the semis. What is it, oh. Steve? 27% of people in the NDP believe in legalizing cannabis? 
Sixty-five percent of people in BC believe in it. Sorry, you, 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 no, you, you, you blew that one. I, I got to give these guys a guess, but no, uh, uh, I, I uh, well, seventy-three. Wow, the answer is seventy-four. So there it is. You stole it from them. All right. Good game, guys. So congratulations. And uh, sorry about your luck, guys, but they just Here, honey. took it away from you there in the end. Again, I got prizes for you all, so please don't run away. Again, uh, we'll be back next week, folks, with another you know, exciting game of Reach for the Pot with uh, uh, a whole new set of teams. And uh, please uh, uh, join us for that. We're also putting this up on YouTube. It'll take a day or two. But uh, it's, it's it. really fun to be back. Before we call it tonight, each and every time we try and get together, uh, we hold... 42 seconds of silence, if we can, out of respect for the victims of the drug war. In particular, we think about those people who are in jail, who otherwise would either at times be here with us, or would be out there helping cannabis become more free and legal and, and grow more strong and proud. So for those people that are in jail for growing or selling cannabis, uh, we have this 42 seconds of silence, along with all the other victims of the drug war. Uh, but in particular, I think uh, the growers and, and, and suppliers of this herb deserve most of our thoughts. So I give everyone a, a warning of three. And then uh, we have uh, 42 seconds of silence, please. So if everyone could please join us for 42 seconds of silence, starting in 3, 2, 1. Having been in jail myself when you guys are having these circles, I, I just have to say how much I appreciate you uh, joining me for that every week. Um, there have been many other activists in Canada knowing that we put our thoughts towards them when they're in jail, when we have these events. So I really like to uh, have that uh, meaningful moment with these. Uh, so, uh, and you know, on that note too, when you read our newsletter, you'll find that the current conservative government wants to have mandatory minimums for anybody growing as little as one plant You'll be spending six months in jail if they catch you and they can prove that you had any intent to traffic. And traffic could mean sharing. I've been busted for sharing cookies. I was convicted of trafficking THC. So uh, by a jury, actually. It was quite a scene a few years ago. So really, uh, sharing is, is dangerous and this conservative government is too. And, and the Bill C-15 that I talk about here, I believe is passing second reading and the liberals are going behind it because they don't want to look like they're soft on crime. So it's it's really scary, actually, on a federal level, even if the local cops are cool with us around here. But anyway, again, thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, we're going to be meeting here uh, every Wednesday till July 15th, except for Canada Day, where we're going to be at the courthouse all day, starting at 420. So again, thanks, everybody, for coming. Congratulations. And thanks for playing, guys. Congratulations to you guys. Thanks for coming out. See you all next week. Smoke them if you got them.